Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn two topics. One is the test info and another one is how to download a file. And also, we are going to learn how to use the test info to attach the downloaded file in the report. So if you go to our uh, playwrightconfig.ts file, you can see like screenshot uh, is on. That means like how many tests we have based on that the screenshot is going to generate after the test completion. So within the describe block, I have only one test and within the test, I have two test steps. One is to do the login and another one is to uh, toggle the drop down by changing the price low to high and from high to low. So I'm going to execute and show this how this exactly looks earlier and what are the changes we are going to do. Okay, so I'm going to execute the test now. And the test is executed successfully. Let's try to generate the report. So to generate the report, we have this command like uh, npx. I forgot. So let me copy it from here, right? So npx playwright and then followed by show report. Okay. I'm going to generate the report. Let's see how it looks. So here you can see like uh, we got this uh, report and here we have only one uh, screenshot and that is end of the uh test so once the test is completed we will be able to see the screenshot but what if uh i want to get the screenshot for each and every steps for example here i have one step and here i have one other step right i want to generate the screenshot for that as well let's see how to do that it's going to be very simple so we'll use the await page dot screenshot and that will generate the screenshot but we have to attach this screenshot in our report right so here we know that if from the fixture we are getting the test i mean we are getting the page similarly i'm going to get the test info and i'm going to make use of it okay so test info and of course it should be await test info dot attach is the function and within this we have to give the file name first okay for example let's say that this is going to be my login screenshot and then followed by within the object we have to specify the content type so content type in the sense like what is the type this basically uh, screenshot is an image and the format is going to be png right and then for by we have to give the body where we are going to attach the screenshot okay so this is the uh, screenshot that we are getting from page dot screenshot okay i think this is very sim uh, very easy to understand so yeah and similarly i'm going to call this in few other places as well like once i select the price low to high I'm going to get it and here I'm going to directly call the page dot screenshot so so that we don't have to create the uh, object and we have to use it right and here also I'm going to use it so I'm going to copy and paste over here okay now I'm going to execute the same test again uh, let's see how the reports its report is going to look now okay so the test is completed i'm going to bring up my terminal already the report is running so i'm going to go to the same page i'm going to refresh now here you can see like we got uh, one screenshot and then another one and then another one so this is basically my uh, low to high screenshot and this is my high to low screenshot i'm toggling the drop down and this one is basic like after each and every test we'll get the screenshot that we are getting here and this is the first screenshot after the login so if you go to the code you can see like here after login we are trying to attach the screenshot okay that's it very simple uh, this is how we can use the test info to attach the screenshot within the test dot step similarly uh, with the help of screen test info dot attach we can also download the file and attach in the report okay so let's go to the download uh, test case here okay so this is very easy actually so i have already written the code what i'm going to do is very simple i will go to this uh, lambda test uh, this page and here i'm going to type something and i will click on this generate file and once the file is generated i'm going to click on this download once i click on the download you can see like we are getting something like lambda dot lambda info uh then followed by file name dot text okay so whatever i'm going to type here that i'm going to get it here okay so this is a very simple test so the code is very simple so already we have uh, written the code so basically here i'm trying to navigate to that particular url and i'm doing some expect asset and in the text box i'm typing some text and then i'm clicking on the generate button and here is the actual code okay so here we are going to use this promise dot all and within the array we'll wait for the event uh, that is download and we'll click on the download button once we click on the download button it, that's going to download the file right so from this 
uh, download that is uh, destructuring concept in javascript or typescript i have explained that in uh, and some video you can check it out okay so here we'll get the suggested file name why we are using this in the sense like whenever we try to download any file using playwright basically it will try to get the uh, GUID. Uh, GUID in the sense like it will give you some uh, 16 digit uh, alphanumeric numbers okay alphanumeric uh, characters basically but we want to get the file name that is going to be downloaded from the website for example here when we once we click on the generate file uh, then we get this like lambda info and then followed by the text right so we want to get that so for that we are using this don't suggest file name but also like uh, when we download it will be deleted automatically from the uh, downloaded folder once the browser is closed but we are downloading so that we can see it or we can use it so for that we are going to use this uh, download dot save as and here i have to give the path so uh, this is the file name what is the file name I'm going to get i'm going to give that as a save as uh, so that uh, it will store in my root of the project but with the file name this one okay and i'm using the same path to store in the report okay so i'm going to generate that before that if i go here you can see like we don't have anything like lambda info in this root of the project but once the execution is completed you can see that the downloaded file will be in the project level folder of course you can add some uh, path here like dot slash then folder you can add it but not necessary uh, watch here uh, here it was very quick actually um, so you can see that that is that that has a, like something like with uh, the file file will be in the with format okay so here if i go now you can see like lambda info dot txt file is there and if i open it you can see like lorem msum uh, that is what we have given here right and uh, if i go to the reporter now okay so i'm going to uh, bring the reporter now and if you go to the download and here you can select we have something like downloaded if i click on that you can see the same file here okay it's giving like if you see the fi file path it's basically like data slash then followed by the file some file with a good name okay why this is happening in the sense like the file whatever we have downloaded will be actually stored in our uh, root of the folder project okay but when we are going to attach that into the reporter what it will do means it will what it will do means it will just create a copy of that and it will store in our playwright report folder so if you go into the data folder you can see like we got this file with the same dot txt file okay so that's it it's really easy uh, i got a question like how to download and also this one like how to attach the screenshot for steps so both the answers i have given i think if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments i will be happy to reply thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon and by the way we are now crossed 8000 subscribers i am really thankful to each and every person who have subscribed and watched all my videos yeah that's it Thank you. Tada. Bye-bye. Take care.